Uh, yeah. Speaking of money, so this study came out <clears throat> dealing with the amount of money people make and their favorite hobbies. Okay. And maybe what we could do is, because I have the list in front of me, and it has uh, a list of activities with richer than average participants, median income in the United States at $50,000, activities for the poor folk. And I want to hear what your favorite activities Sorry, are. <laughs> I know, I'm just... <laughs> I, I, do you think that you engage in mostly activities that poor people engage in, or are you engaged in clearly like Jason, rich people activities? I, I because the number one activity I don't think for I do anything that's rich people is golfing. All right, well, okay. It is an upper crusty sport. There's no doubt I mean, about it's it. No, absolutely no doubt about it, number I mean, one. But I mean, if I play golf once every couple of weeks, it's expensive. But it you're. Is. I think you engage in the top two, in fact. Golfing and playing racket sports are the top two tennis. hobbies yeah, for I play tennis. the rich For the people. rich and the well here. Yes. Yes. Right. I well, grew up in Fisher's me. County. I golf more than 99% of hey, people. You know I'm what? butt poor. This one, yeah, right. but your income's over the median income. According to Jason, States, maybe. You also get hooked. <laughs> this run is counter. You don't, so you don't spend money on your golf. That's true. My favorites, because I put stars next to my favorite activities, they're all the poor stuff. Now, we all love television, right? Television is the number one thing that poor people like. Uh, television and listening to the radio, so that's good for us. Makes sense. We have a big following amongst the poor never people. Go, never go not, the appearance. people are not well off. Yeah. By the way, you have to mention the fact that all the way at the bottom is television and then religious in parentheses. Oh, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, JP, the, the, the bottom the one bottom. Is, is watching religious. Oh. So television. that means if you're watching, like, televangelists, okay, but you're supremely felt it. It's true, but then if you if you look at you're it in the bottom help. five, <laughs> yeah. the bottom you're, five. You're, if you're watching a televangelist, you're looking for divine intervention <laughs> to stop you from being felt it. But in the fo- bottom five is just regular TV, not okay. religious. All right? So I would say my three biggest hobbies... Over the last 25 years, I've been playing basketball, playing soccer, and television. I can't believe what's fourth from the and bottom. That is, and cakes, by the way, involved in the poor activity of going to casinos. <laughs> going to gambling houses. Yes. On the regular. Absolutely. Right. The one fourth from the bottom, I don't really understand. Relaxing, comma, thinking. That, I mean, that's, that's a, a poor, hobby? That's a poor person's activity? Apparently so. It's in the bottom five. You just got nothing to do. It's <laughs> all you can do. I did a lot of thinking. Well, they, they don't do it. They don't work. I, I just relax. So relaxing and thinking and then listening to the radio, wedged in between the two of those, tobacco and drug use. <laughs> good, good spot for radio. Right. <laughs> we work in a great industry. <laughs> Where where do you think rollerblading falls on the scale? Do you think rich I people know. or poor I, people? I need rollerblade? to get new blades. I need new ones. I know, Mine but, are all worn down. But if you had to guess, uh, I don't know. No idea. Hmm. The poor folk. <laughs> it's super, it's super high. <laughs> it's a, it's low poor impact, people though. love playing baseball and they love rollerblading, <laughs> according to this list. Poor people love well, baseball. See, playing baseball. Well, it's not that. <laughs> Well, hold on. No, How no, do no, rich people? Hold on. Those that are the ones that are like on the fence. Oh, that makes sense. Like they are almost. That's the dividing line right there. Yeah. Those are almost into the richer than average oh, participants. Okay. But that's on the upper end of. So the, the, the activities. Real, <laughs> where does drinking fall? Well, I think that would be at the bottom. T- tobacco, tobacco and drug use. I would throw alcohol into drug use. What are you talking about? Rich people drink like a mug. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they, okay, but rich people but, love to drink. They just drink wine. Like a pickle. And, <laughs> Been drinking more lately. Hold on. So you're telling me rich people play baseball and or, or <laughs> rich people play softball, and poor people play baseball? According to this list, that doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, I didn't conduct the study. It's the dumbest study I've ever heard of. I mean, who came up with it? Did Drag yeah, put I this mean, in the outline? No, I mean, a lot of it's common sense. <laughs> Let me see this. this is <laughs> you got it in your notebook. Why don't you open your notebook every once in a while? <laughs> I don't. That I don't know what I do. I open my notebook and I take the, the outline out. Why do, why do There's not one crease in the spine of that notebook. I take the outline out. Why it. do you fill it up? <laughs> he doesn't fill it up. Valdez does. I know. I'm saying. Just fill up three Valdez of them. is still just crushing <laughs> trees guys? every day. Every day. He loves it. <laughs> well, here, here's the thing is. I do, ja- I do, why I do we... Jason's notebook, and I, <laughs> yeah. I do everyone's notebook every day just for the off chance that they open it. That today's the show that you open it because you need a story. For <laughs> you a ever segment. heard of the greenhouse effect, <laughs> Rick? I open it every day. Do people understand stories. that's why we nicknamed him Valdez. Yes, we said he's a bigger threat. He's the biggest threat to the environment 
since the Exxon Valdez yeah, yeah, oil spill. It was right. pre-BP. Right. The paper. <laughs> Way pre-Deepwater Horizon. Way pre that. Um, it's probably the farthest Jason's ever gone through the notebook. <laughs> well, I mean, most of the stuff is just I mean, stuff that I common would, sense. Golf, golf, we know, is a rich person's activity. Valdez just, I mean, you got hooked, apparently, at Lighthouse. But maybe you're not going to be hooked. Maybe. And if you end up playing at Lighthouse, you're going to spend $250 that day. There's no question about it. If you actually have to pay for golf today, you have to you either have to be extremely wealthy or you're just nubs and you play the worst courses. <laughs> That's yeah, why yeah. you were playing because, Mojo Balls. Well, because I yeah, just a, 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 a Pro V1 is $4, and that's one ball. <laughs> right. To be honest with you, you, I, hit, you hit I, that blicky in the water, <laughs> you are bitter. bitter. 